is me, Kristen, also known as Coco on the internet, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. We are here with a new episode of, and everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, listen to my lower register anyway. Um, yeah, we're here with a new episode of Soul Food, and this is episode 10. And I feel like I don't know if you're a Game of Thrones girl, Dracaris. I'm gonna do the Game of Thrones thing where like a specific episode is always supposed to be the most gagging, the most like heart dropping, the most epic episode of the season but we're not doing seasons with soul food like i do with amber because amber's life is more like a concept and this is literally me making a story up as i play the game so yeah we're just gonna keep going with soul food and every episode 10 will be like a special like this episode is obviously before we get into the episode i have to do my little spiel please make sure you all check me out on my social medias make sure you follow me on x because that's where i talk if i'm not posting i'm still tweeting so follow me on x and also y'all heard me begging in the last video like child can we get past 7k on instagram that would really like I don't know that would make my day and also what would really make my day is if you subbed up if you're not already subbed tell a friend to tell a friend like comment and subscribe okay engage 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 because guess what we are so close to hitting 30k I can't believe it but we are we are so close to hitting 30k and it's just getting higher and higher and I cannot wait to like see that big number on this channel like that is so crazy to me thank you all so much for the support and we're very close to another goal so yeah that's your homework for this video now let me entertain you all with the series that you have all been begging me for and asking me what happened where is soul food where is soul food where is soul food it's here hours long of it too so we are starting this episode off with lauren okay government name if y'all like because y'all always call her by her government name and y'all know she don't like that but ladrika okay we are here with her <laughs> in her apartment and as you saw in the beginning she got her hair done yeah, she's feeling real good she's feeling very confident as you see but that doesn't change what I told y'all what she was going through in the last episode. She is going through a midlife crisis, okay? It says, Ladrika has had has an intense desire to be more creative in life. On the plus side, all items she creates will have a level higher in quality during this crisis. Take a look at the midlife crisis, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but yeah, she's having a midlife crisis. I didn't cheat that. I didn't you know finesse that y'all she's literally just having oh my god don't look at what lucky and sharita was doing um but yeah like she's having a midlife crisis and she's actually really excited right now because she got her hair done it's midday she's feeling good it's a cute day you know it's a cute summer day and <laughs> Something that she bought online has finally made it home and she set it up instantly because for some reason in her midlife crisis, Lauren wants to learn how to play the piano. I didn't even know they get little quirks and stuff when they have a midlife crisis, but apparently this is what she wants to do. I thought she would want to do something, you know, in a whole different area, you know, because she's doing her lawyer thing now. I don't know. I just didn't know this would be her thing. But yeah, she wants to learn piano. And it says, in the midst of a midlife crisis, Lauren has decided piano is her thing and wants to do it more often. Um, And so this is in her like panel, apparently. You know what? We're just going to take whatever we can as long as she doesn't make drinking her hobby again. Okay, girl? Anything that distracts her from doing what she did that night when she lost her cool okay mind you her hair grew a little bit look at look at the growth ah look at the growth as long as she's not doing none of that crazy stuff girl do what you want to do so her her piano her keyboard came so let's see does she have a natural talent 
And she just came from her sister's house, too. So she instantly set this up. Let's see. Um, let's practice. Oh. Oh. Um, you can't play that Tom Hanks song, uh, Lauren. That's what you still practice. You do the dum, dum, dum. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know about this. That must have been outside. We we are in the city. She looks so happy though. Is this her? I think she's using the soundboard. Child, the girls start pushing forty and want to be Stevie Wonder. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm happy for her that she got this, but it's a pretty like, oh, she has the piano skill. Good. Are you happy? Oh, she's still going through the midlife crisis and she's ovulating. Wow. She said, I need a glass of water after that. She's like, I'm really giving Beethoven. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you put that in the... I don't know where she put that glass. But, okay, now that she had her little fun with what she ordered online, now I think we're actually going to enjoy the day because I heard it's pretty nice at Willow Creek. So we're going to go to the park there. Oh, thank you for cleaning that up. We're going to go to the park in Willow Creek, and we are going to have a little work session there because she wants to kind of be outside but she has some documents to look over she has a few cases that are now on her lap so we're gonna go and do that who's this calling her i've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friends grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you will you accept under what conditions Oh, v very clever. Well, there's some conditions, but one of the conditions was there no conditions. If you ask if there were any conditions. So, there are no conditions. Wait, right? Oh, well, thank you to our grand, uh, dad, granddad, cousin. He had a, he, he had like a kid out there. And, you know, like, that's Glorilla's dad and everything. So, that's why, like, me because related. We got a cute 2500 We got to use that to pay for our, our mother's uh rehab, I guess. Look, she's working here. No, girl. We're going outside. We're going outside. Do you have earbuds? Hey, hold up. Hold up. Ah. 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 Never mind. Hold on. We might have to turn it for now. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Ah! Oh my God. Laura, you're in a really good mood. You see, the hair depression for black women is too real. Too real. But we're going to the park, okay? So you can dance a little bit, but we're going to the park. Oh my God. Y'all will not even. The text Lauren just got coming to the park. Emilio, count your days. Count your days. In about in about three days, you're gonna start choking. I am get. Who does he think he's? Because we don't want to be his mistress. Because she found worth in herself. Oh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. anyway, we're going to have Lauren come over here and do some work. So as you see, she can attend a deposition or she can do some law research or file court documents. And she's actually going to do some documents. It's really nice today in Willow Creek. So I thought this would be cute for her to do. Very relaxing. You know, she's very much into self-care these days. This is just something cute for her to do, you know, instead of going there and working in the house and being like a negative Nancy. She thinks it's cute to come out, you know, get some fresh air and do some work. 
So, yeah, she's trying to do more things for herself, obviously, with getting the piano. Everything has been about her family or it's been about keeping secrets and not living in her truth. And now she's just trying to do the complete opposite. And she's actually still in therapy. So she's doing really, really good. Oh, her sister just texted her, but I missed it. She's feeling a little... She needs some social things. Oh, look at the kids. I forgot how nice this park is. This is by, I want to say Alexis Ariel. Oh, God, G. She's working on a pretty tough case right now. Huh. Okay, yeah. Oh, my God, Lauren, this is so cute. I love this for her. Such a relaxing day at the park, despite that <laughs> weird text yeah, that we weird. got. <laughs> oh, hold on. What the heck? Is that who I think it is? Yes, y'all, this is Jaden, okay? I gave him a makeover because he just wasn't giving the style I like for my sims to look because I downloaded him but he has a completely different makeover now and I think he looks really good really improved I also got some new male clothes so I just feel like I don't know I'm I'm all for making the males look better including Lucky yes you will see later Lucky has gotten an upgrade as well um but this is Jaden, and I mean, we know why he at the park. It's kind of his job, you know, like, I mean, not just, you know, doing what he do at the park, but he also, you know, does other things. He's definitely, I would say, the head of Lucky's gang, like underneath Lucky, but we're also gonna get into those dynamics later too. But yeah, this is Jaden, new and approved, and obviously he's here working at the park, but I think he spots Lauren over there. I mean, how could you not? I mean, she is pretty far away, but <laughs> we're gonna have him. Actually, I'm gonna control him. And y'all, Lauren has been ignoring this man like the plague okay he is just so about like putting that pressure on her and she's just like i am pushing 40 you are pushing 30 and this is just not this is not what you want okay and he's like it is what i want okay i mean he pulled up at big mama house and gave her that you know and then after that like she she was at Sharita house and came with that freakum dress on. So it's like, Lauren, what do you want? Like, do you want the pressure or not? And he's probably gonna come over here and like scare her a little bit. Let's see. He's like, I know that's not who I think it is. I know that's not who I think it is. Hold on, he gonna creep up behind her. He's like, oh my God, he instantly got flirty. He's like, Lauren? Um, <laughs> no, he don't call her Lauren. He calls her Drika. He like, Drika? He's like, what you doing all the way over here in Willow Creek? She's like, oh my God. <laughs> she over here trying to avoid him so bad, but he's like, how you doing? Like, I didn't see you since we were at, you know, Lucky and Sharita's. He's like, I I'm doing good. Um, I What are you doing here? He's like, I mean, I think you kind of know <laughs> what I'm doing here, but it's pretty hot, huh? Like, you know, I like your hair. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, um, it's it's new. It's like, yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely longer. It's like, yeah, longer. That That's what it is. <laughs> this man trying to rip her up so bad, please. I just feel like Lauren is so much like I'm healing myself. I'm focused on myself, but also she wants to date, but she just feels like this man is dangerous. Like it's dangerous to like him. He is nice to look at. I feel like that's what she thinking in her head. Like he is it's, it's very nice to look at. Tad it up. He's like, so what you doing? Um, just typing on your computer. It's like I'm I'm doing some law documents. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot you were a lawyer. Um, you handle any cases I know? It's like I actually just started. Um, I'm doing a whole bunch of new things. I I even started playing piano today. I'm kind of trash at it though. Like I I don't know. 
No male monkey. Yara and Azuk. Oh my god! I didn't expect them to talk this long. He's like, so which we're gonna see if we can like score the deal for our boy Jaden. Cause I feel like he really wants to know her more. And he he never had somebody put it on him like Lauren. That's why he was fine with it, you know, doing it at Lucky's house. Normally he wouldn't do things like that. So we're going to go ahead and like compliment her appearance. Like I really do like your hair though. It looks nice. It looks like, I don't know, like you're free these days. It's like, it's like oh well, <laughs> thank you. I do feel free these days. Oh yes. Okay, so he's going to try and like really go in with the deal and it's like you know you never gave me your number she's like well there's a reason for that like i don't i don't know if we should have each other's numbers he like come on let's see if she give it to him what you gonna what you gonna do lord it's like fine boy <laughs> i know that's right okay why is his thing glowing? I don't know what he's saying. But he's going to attempt to, like, I don't know, hang out with her tonight. He has nothing else to do anyway. I mean, he was just over here selling a few zips, you know? She's like, I, I don't know. I kind of have a headache. He's like, did you just get a headache? Like, come on now. Like, why don't you come over tonight? Or we could chill or something. First kiss? First kiss? Whoa. They never kissed before. But I think... He's going to ask her, like, I don't know, like, I should take you out sometime. She's like, actually, I'm busy tonight, so I don't know. I don't know. I have I have things to do. Oh, my God. She finds him so attractive. He's like, well, I don't know. You got my number now, so, you know. She's like, I'm just trying to figure out life right now. Nothing serious, so, I mean... You have my number. I have your number. And I, I just have to go, all right? So she's finna rush. She's finna rush out of here because this man is tempting. Oh, my God. What happened? Wait, wait. Romance a little stressful. I told y'all. Ladrika is not too used to romance yet. And sometimes it's stressful to be near a love interest when your romance skill is so low. What if Lauren says or does... What if Lauren does or says the wrong thing? It could all turn awkward, awkward easily. And I see, no, honestly, I feel like she would have had more confidence if that bum did not text her before she sat down talking about some, oh, like, I heard you found somebody new. How did you trick them to make it feel like you were worth loving? Because she feels that all the time. Like, not only does she feel that from her mommy and daddy issues, okay? She feels like she's not enough. But she also feels that with the love life because all she has been is somebody's mistress or somebody's secret or... I don't know. The person has not been on her same level as we've seen with her teenage love. Like, it's like she has so much going on in her head when Jaden is just like, he just trying to vibe, twin. Like, he just trying to vibe. And she don't know how to vibe. Like, Lauren don't know how to vibe whatsoever. And he just... He putting that pressure on her. So, yeah, but Lauren is feeling tense. She's feeling like, I don't know. I don't know what this boy wants for me. So, she's about to rush. She's like, actually, I have to go. I have um plans later tonight. But, I mean, it was, it was... It was good seeing you. He's like, no, like, definitely, definitely. Definitely hit me up. He's like, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> He's like, you just gonna dip like that? I mean, we we just I at least need to say bye to you. She's like, I, I I really have to go. I'm meeting somebody later. He's like, all right, that's fine, but let me at least say bye. Let me at least say bye. She's like, I mean, this is kind of nice. It's like, yeah, it is. Uh. 
Wow. That was very oh. not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, that was a kiss and surprise, but... I mean, they had their first kiss. Anyway, Lauren was not lying when she said that she had somewhere to be and that she was meeting somebody. So we actually do have to go. It's just like, wow. She didn't expect to see Jayden tonight. She just, she, she didn't. And this man looking too happy. I told y'all that Lauren was not lying when she told Jayden that she had somewhere to be and that she actually had plans for the night. And when I say plans, obviously she looking good. The girls are out. And that is because Lauren was asked on a date. And who was she asked by? Somebody who's her age. Oh my God. Oh my God, he disappeared, please. Um, <laughs> somebody who's her age, okay? This is, this is Lewis, okay? And she met Lewis at work. He was a lawyer for the opposing team that she was battling with and she won, okay? She won the little dispute, the little contract negotiation thing that they were doing. And mm, he decided he really liked her. So he wanted to take her out and go for like a little late night dinner because they both had things to do before. And here they are in the city ready to do a date. So Lauren is really ready. Like that whole interaction with Jaden threw her off because she's like, I want somebody who's ready to do what I want to do, which is I'm done being the side. I'm ready to be the main. Okay, I'm ready to be grown and sexy. That doesn't really involve kids or anything like really substantial. She just wants to be with somebody who, you know, is grown and sexy. And to her, Jaden is like giving little boy energy. So she's here to be on a date with Lewis, okay? And he has a stable job. Obviously he's a lawyer. He lives in the city as well. And he's taking her to this fancy restaurant. This is a restaurant I randomly popped down, okay, from the gallery, so not too much. I wanted to use a different restaurant, but downloading the CC was too much, so it just didn't happen, but it's okay because this doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but yeah, they're here, they they are meeting up, they're sitting here talking, y'all. Y'all, she really know? thinks he's attractive, oh, like, it even popped up. She thinks he's, you know, just her speed, what she's been looking for. So they're just gonna talk a little bit. It's super late tonight, but they just came to have like, I don't know, appetizer or something quick and um, drinks. He just really wanted to get to know her. Okay, so he's active. He's like, you look beautiful tonight. <laughs> like, Thank you. Oh my God, they're really chopping it up. Okay, Lauren, calm down, calm down. She's like, so, like, tell me about yourself. I mean, I mean, I, I see you're good in the boardroom, but, like, tell me about yourself. Oh, my God, he's about to compliment her appearance again. I already had him do it once. Okay, y'all should get a table. It's very late tonight, but maybe we can quickly get a table. Okay, so he's requesting the table. We're going to be right here. Let's have him sit here. And she's like, this is actually a pretty nice place. Got a little candle going. I know that's right. It's like, I chose this place because it's really, you know, it has nice lighting. <laughs> so let's not waste time and let's just get drinks. We're gonna order for the table and get something really quickly. You know, a little late night dinner in the city. I feel like Lauren is such a martini girl, so I'm gonna get her a martini. And I'm going to get Louis maybe a glass of whiskey. Why not? Let's get them both the Wagyu. The Wagyu steak. Which is really expensive, which means one thing, he got money. I mean, we know he got money, but yeah. Um, so that's what they're going to get. And they're just going to keep their conversation going. It's going to try to, you know, talk to her a little bit more. Try to see what she's about because they really didn't get to talk when they were at work, obviously, because they were working. So, um, let's see. Ask about love life. He's like, so... 
I didn't think you would be available. She's like, well, it's not a lot of men who are willing to take me to a fancy restaurant like this. It's like, hi, yes. Can I get the Wagyu steak? Thank you. We'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. Thank you. It's like, but yeah, you know, a lot of men don't want a hard worker. He's like, I love, I love a woman who works. <laughs> Lauren is very talkative today. Let's see. We're going to have her talk about some stuff too. Let's ask about his love life. Their green bar isn't going up. The flirty bar is, but not the green bar. <laughs> okay, we got to chill. We got to chill. They want each other body like that. Um, Not in the mood, but try luck again sometime. Yeah, let, 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 let's, let's wait. She's like, um, let's just get drinks before you even think about something like that. But you are, you are very attractive, okay? He is her age and her speed, okay? I mean, this day is going kind of well, I guess, if they got that achievement that quick. Let's see if we flirt a little bit, what will happen. But I want them to get the green bar up. Like, it's seeming like he only wants one thing. And she's looking for something more. Like, somebody who she can have conversations with. At the beginning, it seemed like they were doing that. But now it's like, he only want one thing. Like, what is the tea? Oh. So let's see. Maybe if she like talks to him, small talks. Um, ask about day. She's like, so like, what do you do for fun? <laughs> I feel like she hates these questions. Like she just wants to fire her person, but this is what you have to go through to find the person. She wants to give a massage to him. Okay, Lauren, maybe you're trying to give the vibes because this is. This is crazy. Compliment appearance. Okay, she's on his body as well. Okay. Maybe this is actually what she wanted. Because I'm like, oh, this is too fast. But no, Lori seemed hot and bothered. She saw that bald head and said, yep. I'm trying to get them to talk like normally and not give a hungry eyes to each other. Um, Let's discuss interests. She's like, so what do you? Oh my God, it's people in here doing it, please. He's like, you have really nice teeth. She's like, oh, thank you. I had braces when I was like 12. Why is their freaking green bar not going up? Andrew, it's four in the morning. Food didn't come. And I have the mod in. She likes flirtation. Of course she does. Are they just now getting our order? Like, what is going on? At this point, we just have to pretend that we ate. Y'all know how it go with the restaurant. Y'all, they are just flirting. So, honestly, it's giving this is what Lauren wants. They're just flirting. Like, no conversation. Okay, their green bar went up a little bit. Their friend bar went up a little bit, but... <laughs> we're just gonna pretend like they ate because it doesn't seem like we're getting our food. And Loki, I think Laura wants to take him back to the crib, which is crazy to me. Cause isn't she supposed to be taking this way more serious? Like, what is going on with her? I don't know. I'm a little worried. I thought he was her. It's time to go. <laughs> So last night was interesting for Lauren. All right. She had a good time. Obviously, she's feeling very confident, um, you know, quickie with the hottie. But that's really what it felt like to her. It didn't feel like her and Lewis really connected. You know, he was a cute lawyer her age that, you know, they connected while being in the boardroom and they had a nice 
cocktail or two together and she was just really really hot and bothered in feeling him so she brought him home but that's really all she experienced like she didn't really have a huge connection to him like obviously she has with Jaden like it's so easy with Jaden y'all saw them talking at the park like he was hilarious he was really just a good time and Lewis was more like a stick in the mud and that's really you know Lauren is on her Rihanna right now okay she's she she just wants fun times time. she wants want fun times fun, and fun laughs time. okay <laughs> that's what she wants so she just I don't know she doesn't want to really go all the way there with Jaden because number one all they've done is hook up and seen each other at the park and she just feels like something with him is just not stable like his job the thing he does like she knows what Lucky does she's not stupid and it's just like like, I don't, she doesn't expect to gain anything from being with him, which is not like she should, but she just feels like if she's somebody who has all of the, these things and all of these goals, he should have that too. But she never asked him. She never asked him. So that's the gag. But this morning, she's really waking up with him on her mind and she's thinking about low key texting him or facetiming him or something she's actually really hungry no do not eat that we're gonna make breakfast yeah put this up we're gonna boil some water for coffee and then let's see what she can make for breakfast i think we're gonna have her make some french toast with bacon and cheesy scrambled eggs she's hungry child okay they went to that fancy restaurant yesterday and it barely had any food. Yeah, she was gonna make a big breakfast this morning because she actually has to go to therapy. She tries to comfort herself as much as she can when it's therapy days because it's just hard for her to talk about herself, talk about her childhood. And she usually tries to dig deep when it comes to therapy. So Lauren is, it's good thing she's in her sex in the city era but she's also in her healing era i don't know it's a lot going on with ladrick i can't even lie um but yeah she's making a big breakfast and she's gonna have some coffee and it just keeps going in her mind in and out in and out like should she text this boy should she not oh don't look at that yeah should she text this boy should she not should she call him she's thinking about seeing him again and not have it be them doing one thing i don't know she doesn't want to make a fool of herself she really doesn't oh yeah flip that bacon okay pause pause because i want you to have your coffee okay they were gonna come over here and make Let's do just a coffee three and one. Oh, she can't do both. Okay, let's just have her eat then. And then I'm going to have her go to therapy. <laughs> bueno, bueno. <laughs> Actually, let me take this off because I think she's going to do it, y'all. I think she's going to do it. I think she's going to text him. Like, why not? We're going to send a text. Oh, my gosh. She devoured that plate. So she's going to text him like, hey, how are you? <laughs> That's so awkward, but it's so Lauren. Like, it's like, we'll see. We'll see if he responds. Until then, we'll have her come over here and grab the coffee. Um, She wants to take a shower. I'll let her take a shower after she gets this and um after she goes to therapy she's actually gonna head to big mama's house because she has not really been there since they took their mom to rehab and she wants to make uh -huh. sure everything is good that they're good oh girl drink this coffee oh my god let's have a chatty family call with um sharita I feel like they talk a lot more now. As you see, saw, okay, they are really close now. At first they weren't, but now they are. 
Oh my gosh, you can't do anything. Come on. Okay, she's having her coffee, but she wants to shower. So I'm going to sh have her shower. And then I think I can just click on her and have her go to therapy. She kind of needs it to talk about this whole Jaden situation. How beautiful, y'all. She's feeling hopeful after therapy and light and session. Something really came together for Ladrika during that session today. She feels inspired to make some changes, hopefully for the better. Oh, feeling great. I love that for her. She has to hang out. Okay, girl. Um, She's still going through her midlife crisis, though. But we're here at Big Mama's house. Oh, child. Big Mama came right out. We didn't even have to knock on the door, but we still have to, obviously. <laughs> it's the Sims. We are here with Big Mama. And even though Lauren is very happy she's in therapy, nobody can really give her the advice that her grandmother can give her. So she's super excited to be seeing her and to be visiting her as frequently as she has been because Lauren has been over here almost every day. And she's just like, oh. Big Mama, I don't know what's going on. She's oh. like, what's wrong, baby? Uh -huh. She's like, I don't know. But yeah, they're here. Uh, Shalonda is still in rehab, by the way. If we look, it says they tried to take Shalonda to rehab. So she said, all right, I will go, go, go. That's actually really cute. But yeah, she's just going to sit here, spend some time with her grandmother. She's like, I tried to get one of those uh, free phones at the community center. She said, don't get one of those. <laughs> Oh, they have a little jokester relationship. She's like, where's Blessing? It's like, I thought she would have been around. She's like, she's in her room. She's been dealing with that white boy. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is Laura going to talk to her? Oh, no, she's going to get water. But, yeah, Blessing is still here, y'all. She's over here contemplating life because y'all saw Leo did the pop-up on her, but she still feels the same exact way. Like, she still feels like, I don't know, like, she has so much other things to focus on, like her not going back to school, okay, because she's not going back to school. And I think I was going to have her do this retail job, but I think I actually want her to quit and do the freelance writer career. I was going to have her, like, do the writing mod where you can, like, do an outline and stuff like that. If you watch my bookish video, you can see parts of that. But for some reason, it's broken right now or, like, unavailable to download. So I'm just not even going to touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and have her quit. And then her new job will be freelance writer, which is kind of what she's doing with the blog, but just her doing like little small jobs and she can work on her blog in between. So I think that's actually a good idea. But yeah, she doesn't really plan on re-enrolling at all. She just knows that this summer she has to stack her money in any type of way. Because otherwise than that, her sisters are going to be mad. So we are going to go for... Fighting words. Freelance freelance writer. When people see us in the street, they point and exclaim them fighting words. Okay, they don't. Perhaps someday. We handle jobs ra ranging from proofreading to ghostwriting for famous people. Grab a keyboard, boot up your favorite word processor, and join us. So that's what she's going to do. Um, we can't do a gig right now because she has to text Leo. Y'all, like, Leo is still hair like around down he's just staying at like an airbnb or something but he's been coming over every day and she's gonna send him a text because she has to talk to him like it's it's not as you see their bar is still red <laughs> it's no like she just doesn't think it's the right time it's just not um but yeah lauren is here she's just hanging out with big mama blessing's gonna come and say hi oh i love that okay she's gonna go say hi to her sister because she also has not seen her in a minute because they've all been doing their own thing like usually they just come and check on big mama and then leave but yeah they're about to have a little Sheila, sister moment. She's like, did I tell you my blog is really doing good? She's like, you and this blog uh -huh. thing 
are you really passionate about it? Like, what's going on? She's like, I thought Big Mama would have cooked. She's like, no, like, my blog is genius. Everything that's happening is genius. So, you know, school school is, is okay. She's like, you're, you're still going to school. She's like, okay, but what if I want to do something more creative? She's like, School is creative. Look at me. You can do anything. How ironic for her to have an unemployed and beautiful shirt on. She's like, look, you're a star. We see that blessing, but school is very important. Oh, she liked the conversation with her. She's like, hmm, maybe I should reconsider school. Oh, my God. Blessing seemed to enjoy that conversation with Ladrika, especially when they explored more serious, thought-provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once the mind is engaged. Could this mean that Blessing likes deep thoughts? Wow. She's like, hmm. Okay, maybe she is right. Maybe I have to think about this again. But yeah, we're going to actually wait for Leo to come over because we have to talk to him. Like, we, we just can't, we can't continue kind of stringing him along. Even though we didn't string him along, we clearly broke up with him. But then he just popped up on us in front of our whole family. Like, got our grandma calling him MGK and everything. Like, this is too much. Here he comes, y'all. I mean, he looking sad because I feel like he knows what's gonna happen, but also his default is just sad, so I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, blessing. Oh, he's gonna go look in the mirror. Oh no. Lauren's like, I can't believe that's actually who she was dating. Blessing isn't gonna be rude. She's gonna come and give him a hug. I love how the news is just on at the house like please it's like oh god i can't believe i have to do this again <gasps> not celebrity level lost oh girl you gotta get on your zoom she's like hey baby it's like hey um do you mind if we take a walk outside he's like a walk outside yeah it's, it's actually a really nice day <laughs> lauren's like yeah i'm gonna go he looks so sad She's going to discuss his sad mood. She's like, hey, are you okay? Like, it's like, I just want to talk. He's like, no, because I, I already know what you want to talk about. He's like, look, I know I can be off the handle crazy. She's like, look, let's just take a walk together. We just need to talk. Two of them are off for their walk, and I don't think she's going to break his heart. I think she's just going to bring him to reality. Like, this is my life. This is what I have going on. And I don't know if I can handle, like, I don't know, somebody breathing down my neck when I'm trying to figure out if I even want to be in college or if I want to do this or do that. And I think he doesn't want that. She's like, like, even now, like, my freaking blog is suffering because I'm over here like spending time with you every day. Okay, so I think this is where they're gonna stop and she's like, we need to talk real bad. I don't know if they officially separated or not. Okay, so I think this is where they're gonna stop. She's like, look, I know it's the summertime and we've had fun, but I just, I can't do this right now. He's like, I, I don't know what I have to do. I mean, I came over here, I saw your grandmother like, <laughs> He was like, anybody else, I mean, they would think your reaction to this is trash. She's like, my reaction to this, look, I just, I need to focus on myself. Even now with you being here, I already lost a star on my blog. I can't focus on two things at once. I need to focus on myself. And he's like, oh. <laughs> I guess they done with the conversation, child. Uh, he trying to go back to the crib. And she's just like, oh my God. How am I going to get rid of this? Oh my God, Shalanda is back. Good going, Shalanda Jones is done with the first rehab session. To start the next session, wait a few hours, then click Shalanda Jones and select go to the second rehab session. What? Her mom is home, just like that. Blessing her that her mom is home and she's running, okay? I don't know where Leo went. It looks like he's trying to avoid this conversation as much as possible, but like, he can't ignore it, okay? This is the fact. She cannot be with somebody right now. It's like he won't take the hint. Oh my gosh, look. I don't know what she got on, but... 
Shalonda is home. Baby, rehab did not change anything <laughs> when it came to Shalonda's attitude. I mean, she's still, oh my God, it says she's feeling like shit. Shalonda is feeling like a pile of shit. <laughs> oh my God. Started rehab. Okay, she might need that second round. Leo, goodbye. It's giving go home, Roger. He was like, Big Mom, are you cooking? She's like, hey, baby, yeah. Sit down and get a plate. Oh, my God. Blessing is pissed. She's like, no, 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 no. He's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Shalanda, how you feeling? We'll do your second round, I don't know, tomorrow or something. Baby, she's going through it. We're going to have her come in here, too. He's like, your mom's finally home, huh? She's like, I told you that you need to leave. He's like, I can clean up if you want, Big Mama. And she's like, um, actually, Leo's going to leave soon. He's like, leave soon. Please. This boy is not trying to leave. Shalanda, go to the bathroom. Ooh, what did Big Mama make? She made some fried chicken, mac, and cabbage. Let's have her call to the mill. Okay, everybody go and get some. Leo, you did all of that? You don't want any? He's like, Big Mama, I really appreciate you letting me stay here. She's like, he's not staying here. He's like, okay, I should go. I mean, Blessing, I'm going to text you. Ew, She's like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> She's like, white boy still around here, huh? She's like, we broke up. It's like, oh, I really like him. MGK. It's like, uh, I have a good meal in a few days. Can they ask about rehab? I have no idea. I don't know. Let's just be discuss uncomfortable moves. She's like, so Ma, how you feeling? She's like, I feel like I don't even know. I just want some crack. It's <laughs> like, but I definitely, definitely feel it working. She's like, well, that's good, Ma. You need to work on yourself. You know, I'm doing a lot of that, too, right now. You got to think of it like the world is so big. Like, there's galaxies and stars. She's like, what What are you talking about, baby? I'm this way because I did drugs. Just don't do it. She's like, okay, well, you got to be more positive, mom. Oh, look at her. Look at her cleaning up. Okay, Shalana, maybe you are turning. Please, actually clean up. She's pissed. Actually clean up. Okay, and Blessing, I'm going to have you start on your freelancing. What job can we do? Um, let's see. Uh, let's have her do some... Some slogans. Why not? But I also need to have her open up a bank account, which I feel like I did have her do. Okay, we're going to have her do uh, direct deposit. All of her career stuff will go in here. Um, her royalties will go in here. And I don't think... Anything is under interactions. But yeah, this will be her account for her to save up her money to get her own place and to show Lauren that she's serious. Okay, so we did the slogan thing. So it says chat with client, write marketing copy, get marketing copy approved. Let's go ahead and email the client. She's like, let's see what this does because I refuse to work at Urban Outfitters. Oh. The Big mama like, oh, let me put the food up. Mm. Clean up since nobody else will. Uh -huh. 
Oh, she wants to become friends with Blessing. I mean, I thought y'all was, child. Big Mama is ready to go to bed. Okay, we're going to have her um take a little shower. Time to rehabilitate. Time to get rehabilitated. TikTok, Shalonda Jones needs to go back to rehab. Time for session number two. Oh, wait, she can go back that fast? Actually, let's just send her because, honestly, <laughs> she looks over it. Let's go ahead and send her to the second rehab session, okay? Let's act like Lauren picked her up. She's like, I'm, uh, I'm ready. For me, the final. Baby, she going through it. Pissed. It's okay, Shalonda. We gonna get through this. Okay, cool. Oh, did you do it? Okay, she did. Now let's start the copy. Okay, she's gonna start writing the copy. Unemployed and beautiful. I know that's right, blessing. She's feeling so inspired. Like, I really feel like she needed Leo to leave, okay? Mm -hmm. She's not talking to that man for weeks. And I know he's probably still gonna pop up. Like, she can't get rid of him. Bring out the best. Uh, adoring mm -hmm. someone nearby. Blessing can be inspired to be her best self around the sim she adores. Oh. Is that Big Mama? Uh, yeah. It can't be Shalonda. If it is, I'm gagged. World's best grandma. Oh, yes, it is Big Mama. Oh, that's so cute. Got a blog about it. Oh, my gosh. She's like, I have to I have to update the blog about what happened with me and Leo. Can she do that after this? As she's going to blog like so much is happening in my life. Um, work and career. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. She's like, so I guess I'm on my Carrie Bradshaw. I'm going to really try this writer thing. Big Mama, go to bed. Did she take her shower? I don't know what she did, but she definitely definitely can go to sleep. Go ahead, rest them feet, Big Mama. Y'all see her in her moo moo. Okay, Shalonda's back in rehab. Blessing is up late working. Oh, Shuna. I'm so happy for her, though. I feel like she's really choosing herself when the women in her family haven't done that. And it just makes me really happy for her. Oh my god, uh, she finished the writing, but it needs a title. I didn't know you do this. Um, this is a slogan. Um, um, let's act like this is for a hair company. Just let your soul glow. <laughs> Just let your soul glow. If you know, you know. Okay, that's going to be the slogan she did. Proud. <laughs> and now she's going to update the blog. Like, so much is happening in my life. I don't know. I don't know. Imagine her doing a little Carrie Bradshaw monologue. And she's just like, is this what life was supposed to be? Me. Not able to get rid of my obsessive white boyfriend hmm. in some ways it's really cute in other ways it scares me and then my mother is in rehab and I'm just thinking about how I'm rehabilitating <laughs> myself <laughs> please but that is how blessing is like hopefully we can get your star back girly Okay, she has a thousand followers. Wait, what does it say? You know, she has the aspiration. Write 10 blog posts. We should do one more just to complete this. What happens after we do that? Let's do one more blog just to see. This time, um, she's going to talk about parenting and be like, you know, I don't want to be my mother, but... Sometimes I see parts of her inside of myself that scare me. 
I mean, I would never do crack, but I'm, I'm angry sometimes. Um, I can't really focus on one thing. I barely could do school. And I don't know if that's a good thing. Maybe I should go to therapy like my sister. <laughs> okay, Blessing's blog is definitely like her diary. And she stayed up all night writing, y'all, which is what she likes. This is the one thing she loves about being at Big Mama's house because her grandma don't do nothing but just chill and relax and sleep. And she can just have quiet as she writes. Oh, we completed the first part of the aspiration. She's a featured blogger now. Okay, so now we have to do 20 posts. I guess for her to get to the next thing, which the next thing is a professional blogger. So we'll see how that goes. But I am very happy for Blessing. She's choosing herself. Hopefully all the money she makes from the writing career goes in her um savings. And she keeps writing, keeps writing so she can just have a pile of money. So Lauren can't say anything when, a, when the fall comes and she's not going back to school, okay? And instead she's moving into her new apartment. Good morning from the greens. Yes, we are here with Lucky and Sharita. You might see Lucky got a little bit of a makeover. I mean, he still looks the same, but I made him more, I don't know, more proportioned. <laughs> um, And he's over here ready to feed the baby because he has to go to the farm or, you know, like the little warehouse thing that he bought um later today because some big moves are happening today um but obviously he has to be a dad and a husband so he's over here feeding the baby this morning while sharita makes some breakfast because they're both starving oh he loved pear peach oatmeal this baby loki love everything not remake day He's so cute. I know y'all wondering when I'm going to age this baby up soon. Soon. Oh, she made food. She's like, the food's ready. It's like, oh, thank you, bae. Okay, after he finishes uh, feeding Xavier, he'll get some food. But Sharita's like, I have a client today. She has a few clients. So she's not really worried about what Lucky is doing. But Lucky's like, I have to go to the farm today. But, um, yeah. They are definitely on their grind mode. But, y'all, why did I come in this house? <laughs> and I look and see their whims. And Sharita's is... Try for a baby with Zion. Y'all know that's his real name. But try for a baby with Lucky. She wants to have another baby, y'all. Sharita, what? I thought we were all about the business. I thought we were all about the money. Like, what are we talking about? You want to get pregnant again? I think she's just, I don't know. Maybe she's feeling, so, feeling like Xavier's growing up. So, like, she wants another one. But that is insane to me. Like insane we just had this one <laughs> he's so cute okay um lucky what's what's wrong lucy goosey oh he has to go to the dentist why is he wearing a condom this is a perfect transition to what we are here to do in the first place instead of just going to the farm okay i guess i'm gonna send him to the dentist before he goes to the farm but before we do any of that it's time to set certain traits there's going to be certain temptations and we need to set some traits to enhance the storyline okay so wicked has these you know attributes and we are going to give the both of them certain attributes okay we're going to make lucky he is not eternally faithful he's not like sharita hopes he is but he's not and he's going to become an adulterer okay because that's what he is 
Even though y'all think he fine, that's what he is. And Sharita, who's just happy and oblivious and just feels like, oh my God, like my hair, my hair business is going so well and I'm doing so good on YouTube and on Instagram Reels and my husband bought me this house and he loves me despite, you know, always putting me on the back burner. <laughs> she's going to be, she's going to be eternally faithful. Okay, she don't cheat. She don't cheat. She don't cheat, even though she might as well have. Cause the stuff y'all gonna find out about Lucky. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I really came in here. Oh my god, he looks terrified. Do y'all like his makeover? I think he looks pretty good. Um, but yeah. That's what I wanted to come and set up. We're going to actually send him to the dentist because I don't want him to lose a tooth. Um, How do we do that? I forgot. Let's go here. Dental services. Book dentist appointment. Okay, cool. I have Sharita come and pick up Xavier. And we'll have Lucky go to the dentist, and then we're going to be going to the farm because we have a new person to meet, a new business partner um, that will expand the farm because something tragic happened to the farm, y'all. And it's only one person Lucky found that can fix the problem that happened with the farm. So we are about to go and meet that person after he gets his tooth looked at. He's not going with Sharita. He's just going to go. He's like, all right, babe, I love you. Gotta go. It's like, mm, be good. <laughs> the fact that you have to tell your man to be good as he leaves the house is kind of insane, but. We are here at the farm with the members, yeah. and the reason we need someone to come over here and help us is because, remember we came here and planted things? <laughs> Turns out, um, they were in the, you know, best conditions, okay? Everything is frail. They didn't know what they were doing. They feel like a bunch of idiots. I mean, Jayden tried to tell Lucky, but they just are over here very much confused about everything. Um, let's have them all try to water it at least. But we have a new person coming. And she's considered to be the best of the best. And Lucky really wants to get into uh, dealing pills because he heard it's a really big market and they're trying to expand the crew. Oh, look, they're growing. Okay, maybe they weren't so frail, but we still need some help. So he's going to hire a handler. What does this say? Oh, somebody's unattractive. Um, but yeah, we're still gonna hire a handler because we just need somebody to reel it in. He's really on the brink of, like, kicking Isaiah out of the crew because he needs things done and he only pulled through once and it's kind of annoying. He thinks Isaiah is so terrible, oh my god. But yeah, okay, everything is getting watered, love that, love that. I thought they would have to do stuff here, but I guess not. Anyway, they're just going to keep looking around, making sure everything is good. And I think we should go ahead and... Oh, let's purchase more, more seeds, actually. Um, We're going to get a bunch of purple haze, which is taking up more freaking money. We have to buy pills later from this plug that... Um, the person who we're going to meet today has recommended. So let's go ahead, buy some seeds. Um, Lucky is going to open them. And we'll have the guy start planting them as best as they can, child. As best as they can. Oops. But yeah, Lucky, he's doing this all off of research. He doesn't really know the best protocol. And the person who he's going to hire to be the handler 
Um, he's just heard a really a lot of good things about them. So he's going to get the guys to start working and then we'll actually call the person over to, you know, meet everybody and to tell him some plans that they can get started on. I don't know why they can't do it. Maybe they'll just naturally do it. Okay, yeah, they're naturally doing it. Good. Okay, Jayden is getting right to work because he's a good worker. The one we need to talk to is Isaiah, but Lucky's going to come out here because he's meeting the person. Let's go ahead and see if we can add them. And the person we are hiring, which it has to be two people. Loki, I feel like Jayden should be an enforcer. But I don't think you could do do a person who's in the crew. I feel like he should be, but fine. I have to do this one way, and it's revealing something that I wanted y'all to be gagged at. But you're still going to be gagged. But um, I guess we can also make one of the enforcers the person who he's getting the drugs from, who's going to be like his new main plug. And we'll also invite them. I'm just not going to show you. We'll wait until they show up. This is one of our new enforcers, <laughs> Lila, okay, and um, I know what you're thinking, uh, yeah, 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 it's giving Rihanna, okay, well, a little bit. Now, yes, she is the new enforcer, and do you think Sharita knows about this? No. She does not. But this is a sacrifice that Lucky feels like he has to make because he has heard this girl has done a lot of things. Oh my God, he's, they're instantly flirty, please. He's just heard that this girl has done a lot of things for a lot of crews and really expanded their brands and got them into places that they only dreamed of going. So he needed to hire her and she's here to work her magic. But also whose hair is the connect that she recommended who has all of the freaking plugs and all of the connections to get the things that they need to expand the business, to get into pills and to get into other things. And that enforcer is none other than somebody you met earlier. Lewis. So yeah, um, Lauren thinks she met someone who is not in the life like Jaden. And Actually, it's the complete opposite. A lawyer by day, connect and plug and dr drug ring by night. It's a lot going on. So um, he's going to, Lucky's going to come over here and introduce himself to the two. And he's going to be, you know, like grateful that they're joining the team because he's always had this idea of expanding the brand Child, she instantly yep, flirty. Instantly flirty. He's like, hey, how you doing? And she's Latina, so she's like, hey, papi. He's like, oh, your your voice is nice. Lucky, please. He's like, what's up? He's like, I heard you got the best pills around town. He's like, yeah, I do. He was like, and I could get you into high places. High places. Like, he's like, I'm, I'm really excited about our business deal here. Like, I, I really want to expand what the 15th, what the 15th Street Gang stands for. My dad was a part of the life. It's only right. It's like, we can make you bigger, better. She's like, exactly, exactly. He's like, well, sounds good. Like, it's like, oh, y'all should come over here and meet the crew. So they're all going to come over here and start chatting, introducing each other. You know, that whole spiel. Obviously, Jaden and Lewis have no idea that they smashed the same person. Lucky don't know what his sister-in-law is doing. Oh, Lucky risen her up. Calm down, calm down. Jaden, like... He bringing two new... I feel like Jayden is not really keen to this idea. He's been with Lucky since the beginning. And he's just like... He's bringing two new people in. Two people who we don't know. Never grew up with. And they're supposed to expand our business. Know everything that we're doing. I don't know if that sound right. <laughs> so he a little... 
He a little suspicious. Uh, Lewis left. Lila, child, she over here chopping it up. I want them all to meet, though. They're not talking. Where did Lewis go? Did he go to sleep? He did, please. He's talking like, man, how you feel about this, child? They just over here, I guess, talking about what's happening, but I wanted them all to meet, but Lucky's the only one talking to Lila. I don't know what um enforcers do. Maybe they just, like, tell the crew what to do, which is what he's looking for, because he feels like the crew just does not listen um social oh talk about loyalty and he's gonna call her back over he's like yo let me talk to you for a minute lila so like, sure puppy oh my god y'all know sharita sharita's going to when sharita finds out when Sharita finds out, oh my god, this is going to be insane. And look at Lucky just cheesing, cheesing. He's going to talk about territory and just be like, okay, now, you know, I'm ready to start whenever you are. And she's like, okay, well, first we have to actually get the farm together. And you need to get as much supply as you can from Lewis. It's like, you think it's best to start off with pills? She's like, pills are the best option. We can be in the clubs. We can do everything. He's like, all right, all right, I got you, I got you. Jane is just, Jane and Isaiah, they just like, okay, this is all too new. So let's see, can we do a mission? Send to claim a street corner. Oh my God, she bossed up like that? Period. Lucky's a feminist. <laughs> he said, yeah, she got it. She got it. Oh, my God. She's like, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so he needs to go and talk to Lewis. Oh, my God, look at them hanging out. Not rocking, watching Hocus Pocus. Uh-uh, we need to come in here and talk to Lewis now um, because we're going to get some supplies of pills so that we can start pushing it, go to the club, um, you know, things like that. So they're going to discuss the current drug market about MDMA. Um, and then he's going to see how much he can order because obviously the money is going down and they need more. So it's about time we start doing a lot more missions. Um, and a lot more <laughs> things that aren't legal. Okay, I feel like we're going to be doing some robberies. It's time to stack the money back up. So yeah, they're just going to get acquainted. Obviously, he has no idea that he's interacted with um, Lauren. Oh my God, look, Jaden's walking past. If only they knew, if only they knew, if only Lauren knew, child, she would pass away. If Lauren knew what she was wrapped up in but didn't know, she would have a fit. I don't know what they just went to do, but we're going to try and buy some drugs. Okay. So let's see how much we can get from him. Oh, my God. And we need to plant as much as possible. All right. So we're going to get... Let's get... We'll get 10 pink and 10 yellow and see what we can do with that uh -huh. A bimo show me the money and i'll show you the drugs us. Up a crap he's thing. like in anything that happens legally huh. i have us covered and Lucky's like, oh, word? He's like, yeah, I'm pretty good with the law. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep talking about drug dealing. 
Jessene Klonkas Robot. And he's yeah. like, yeah, I, I need that pure stuff. This is crazy, y'all. I mean, if I don't know, y'all can say y'all saw that coming, but I didn't. I didn't see it coming that Lewis is not only a drug dealer, but a lawyer by day. And he smashed Lauren. I mean, Lauren is not cutting him off yet. Like, I feel like she's still going to hit him up. I don't know. This is crazy. But yeah, I just wanted y'all to meet the new crew members, the new, you know, high ranking members of the crew that are going to be making things bigger for Lucky. He feels like it's time to go big or go home. Like he's been doing this for so long. It's just time for him to really expand the brand. He wants to do a dispensary. He wants to actually have... A business here so yeah that's what we're doing okay and Jaden is actually like yo bro I, I gotta go handle some business it's like business yeah I gotta go somewhere real quick but tell lucky tell lucky I holla at him all right it's like, uh, yeah I guess he was like <laughs> yes. I hope you ain't oh. spending the block. He's like, yeah, I got to spend the block, all right. So, another thing that someone wasn't lying about, Jaden was not lying when he said he has somewhere to be. And you might be wondering why he's masked up, okay? And that is because he's about to not spend the block like Isaiah said. He's not spending the block for the gang or anything. Like, he's spending the block for someone he's interested in and that is lauren okay we're at wells fargo but he's not here to cash no check to to do nothing he's here because he knows because he's been having people spot the one and only emilio who had so much to say about lauren and Jayden just knows this is the reason he's one of the reasons why it was so like bad for them the other day and they've been talking okay ever since Lauren had her little one night stand she's been talking to him and he found out about what he said and this is the type of person Jayden is you say something about somebody who I'm into who I can see as my girl this is what's going to happen, okay? Now, this is the part of Jayden that Lauren doesn't want. But this is who he is. This is who he is. He's like, hey, yo. You, you Emilio? It's like, yeah. Wh what's going on? Why do you have that mask on? He's like, can I talk to you for a minute, bro? He's like, who are you? It's like, Stay away from me. He's like, keep away from Lauren. He was like, if you know what's good for you, bitch, don't text her again. It's like, oh my God, somebody called the police. Oh my God, uh, please. I know that's right, J.E. And we leaving. We out. Just like that, before they can call the cops. He's still on business about who he like. And honestly, after all of that, after he just did all of that, I think there's only one place that he wants to go. I mean, he just stood on business for somebody. And he wants to see the person he just stood on business for. This man is cheesing. And y'all know where he was going, okay? Y'all know where he was going. He just stood on business for her. He came to see, and she just so happened to be taking the trash out, and she looks irritated. Oh my god! He happened to 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 see her taking the trash out, and he just look at her, and I just feel like he really does like her, y'all. She's like, Jaden, what the, what are you doing here? He's like, come here. Wow. Oh. Or 
zap. Passionate romance, butterflies ah, in the sky. Bad. Jaden feels just as high after the sizzling moment spent with Lauren. Jaden has a full heart and his head in the clouds. He will be daydreaming about Lauren. Electrifying touch for a while. Wow. He's energized from that. You know what that means, uh, You know what that means. Let's come inside and chat. He's like, he's like, I could have took the trash out for you. It's like, oh, this your place? Yeah, let's have them sit down and talk a little bit. She's like, I didn't expect you to come here. How do you even know where I live? He's like, I, I might have asked Lucky. He's like, don't don't trip on him though. Like, I I literally had to beg him for it. She's like, I guess, I guess it's not so bad. Oh my god, look at how their green bar is going up so much. He's just looking at her like she really is that girl. He's like, you look really good today. It's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Last time when I was playing her, she really liked the compliments. Oh. I didn't even have to do anything. Please. It's like supernatural. This love is giving me. It's like supernatural. I know that's right. I'm kind of turned on right now. What about you? You already know what he came over here for. But yeah, I love that for them. <laughs> I guess they're going to make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> wow, Lauren, this episode... Lauren episodes is it's always crazy. Go ahead, girl. Hit you like this here. Mong, 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 leg up. One arm on neck, one arm on frontal. Your frontal off. Neil, three days later, you in front of his mom house crying. He asking you why you being weird. Why you being weird to me? If you know, you know. If you know what that last scene mean, you know something is brewing, okay? Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna end the episode right there. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you really feel satisfied after not having this series for so long, but we're back, okay? A new episode of Soul Food. I had so much fun recording it, as always. I love messing with the Joneses and seeing what shenanigans they get into, and obviously a lot of things are developing, and that is really exciting. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to 30K. Let's get to 30K. And yeah, I guess I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Hey, in the next one. Hey, in the next one. Hey, in the next one. I just gave my own self a headache. Anyway, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.